So, Maddie Blake, what's the one word that drives success in just about anything? Uh, one that comes to mind right away is persistence. God, mine is perseverance. Oh, yeah. All right. You know what? That is awfully good. Yes. Cool. We dug hard yesterday, and we hit a target and couldn't get to it. Mm -hmm. And so we still have 10 chances, and that excites me, you know? Absolutely. That's why there's shovels in the back. <laughs> As a new day begins in Holiday, Florida, Maddie Blake and Marty Lagina arrive back at the site of the old Spanish well at Anclote River Park to join Joe Ziga and his team. Good morning, guys. Morning, Captain. They are searching for approximately $140 million in gold that the French privateer Louis Ari and his indigenous allies are believed to have divided up and buried in 11 different treasure caches two centuries ago. We got some information for you. Good. So let me show you what we came up with. Earlier this morning, researcher Michael Gattuso conducted another GPR survey of the area in order to identify the most shallow and potentially reachable targets. We rescanned these, and if you can see, when we went around the 18-foot circle, we actually had strong possibilities. One there, one here, one there, so within 10 feet, but the only problem is they're 10 feet deep. All of them? Well, not all of them. We hit one that's five to six feet. Here? Right here. Yeah, it fits right in that perimeter we kind of created based on your math, Marty. It was right on the line. Is it a coincidence that these things were 10 feet apart, right on the 18-foot line? You know what I mean? That's the thing. All right, let's All right. do it. Another day of digging. All right, guys, let's hit it. Let's do this. You guys can start hammering away. All right. Today is a big day. We feel confident that we have the next right spot that's the most viable place to search and dig. Okay, come on, Aaron. Find me something good here. I'm trying, trying. This is the target we want. The excitement level is over the top. Oh, what is that? Wow, what do you got there? I mean, it's badly rusted. Yeah. But it is a nail. It's a clinched nail. So it means they would have pounded it through and then bent and it. And then bent it over. So they wouldn't, it wouldn't come back out. Oh, to seal something to hold yeah. it in? I would guess it's a hand wrought nail. Ooh. What would you estimate the age of that? Late 1700s, 1790s. Yes. Um, I need 1817 era, so. Now, the problem is it's in the backfill. So we've lost the context. We don't know where the fill came from. That's the thing. And it could have been out there and then dredged yeah, and dumped here. Exactly. Yeah. So that predates 1790. We need to take it back to the lab, clean it up the best we can. But it's in the backfill. It's in the backfill, understood. But yet, if there were pirates skulking around here doing things, this would put in the time period. Yeah, so and where did this backfill come from? Where did the backfill come from? Yeah. If Ari was here, which we believe he was from the history, tells us he was, this fits that timeline. That's good. All right, want me to scan real quick? Yeah. Yeah, you keep hitting There's that your spot, hit, man. It's right there. Don Ferris is showing up. We're still getting those gold signature hits. So no one wants to stop. We're tired, our hands are blistered, our backs hurt. None of us are spring chickens. <laughs> I'll speak for myself, but we ain't stopping. As long as those hits keep coming, we ain't stopping. The non Ferris is right here. So we'll just hammer away, Kay. get rid of this, and then the exciting stuff happens in the orange. All right. I put some pep in our dig. Oh, look at that, Doc. Yeah, there we be. There's orange. We got change in color. We get through this sort of white looking stuff, which is the surface here, it, beach sand. We get into a, a very different colored strata. It's orangish colored. Is that orange enough? Yeah. This is the area where now Dr. Taylor says we have to sift the sand to look for artifacts. Coming at you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I don't know what that is. 
You guys got something? That doesn't look naturally made. Looks like the bottom of a pot or something. Got something? It's a chert. It's something First Nations would have used because you can make it uh, razor sharp. May I see that? Yeah. Chert would be the go-to rock for arrowheads and scraping tools. And Dr. Taylor is pretty sure this is Native American stuff. Discovering a piece of chert more than two feet deep has both potentially positive and negative implications on the yeah. operation. Because Louis Ari is believed to have been helped by indigenous people when he buried his treasure, it offers evidence that they were indeed digging in the right place. However, the find could also qualify the area as a historically protected site and put their entire search in legal jeopardy. Hello. Upon discovering these items, we had to have Dr. Aaron Taylor call the Tampa History Center and get instructions as how to proceed because our dig has now changed. How much did it change on the pendulum? We don't know. It now goes in their hands. So we're down at the site, and uh, now we've just found um, chert, which the First Nations like to use to make tools. I'm just looking for some direction on how you'd like me to proceed. Mm -hmm. In the back of my mind, I know, boys, this could be the end of a, of a short day here. We, we might all be going home.